If you sell on Shopify, you've probably heard that you need to use discounts to encourage more sales. But the real problem here is that simple discounts just lower your average order value, and they can even hurt the perceived value of your brand. That's why I recommend a better approach, using volume-based pricing and product bundles to reward customers for buying more without devaluing your products. Now, we realized that there was no easy way to set this up in Shopify. That's why we created the Barn2 Bundles and Bulk Discounts app. And in this video, I'll show you how to use the app to offer smarter deals, like this volume bundle where shoppers can buy one for $10 or two for $15 and so on to increase order quantity. Or these tiered bulk discounts like buy 10 or more and get 15% off, perfect for bulk buyers or wholesale shops. Okay, so let's go through exactly how to set it up. The easiest way to find the app is to use the first link in the description below. Right now, we're looking for beta testers who can provide us with feedback for our app. In return, you'll get to use the premium version of the app for six months completely free. Just use the sign up link on our website to gain early access. That link will direct you to the Shopify app store listing, or from your Shopify dashboard, you can simply search for the app yourself. Once you've chosen a plan and installed it, you can pin it to the sidebar for easy access later. You can also drag it to the top of the list of your pinned apps. On the initial launch, you'll be prompted to create your first discount. After writing a simple name in the first field, you'll see the two types of discounts that the app can create. The volume bundle is the best choice for selling set quantities of the same product at discounted rates whereas bulk pricing is best for creating quantity-based pricing tiers, which can include multiple products. Now, you'll notice that when I switch between the two different discount types, some settings on this page stay the same, while others change. For now, we'll focus on the volume bundle discount, and I'll show you the bulk pricing options next. For both discount types, you'll need to set up which products are going to be included in this discount. In our case, we have all products pre-selected by default, but you can also create exceptions to all products, or you can select any number of individual products or collections. You can then set the dates for when the sale will be available. If you want to set specific dates, for example, a Christmas holiday sale or Black Friday deal, you can do so by updating the dates in the calendar here. But for testing purposes, it's a good idea to select Always Available so that the discount will be visible on your store. Further down the page, you'll see a table for the volume bundles discounts. The first column shows the quantity of this item, which will enable the set discount. By default, this is set to quantities of one, two, and three, but you can increase this if you want to. You can then set a discount percentage, and if you leave the field blank, there'll be no discount applied. Instead of applying a percentage discount, you also have the option to apply a fixed discount. This will be like a whole dollar amount, or in my case, British pounds. And that will be applied to the product. So they'll save one pound if they buy one. This is entirely up to your preference and depends on what kind of discount you want to offer. Next, we have a description here. And I notice that there's a small overlap. So let's just delete some of this text to clean it up a little bit. You can also set up a label such as most popular, and you can choose to highlight one or more of the different discounts. You can add tiers using the button down here and delete them using the delete button on the right. There's no limit to the number of tiers that you can add, but we do recommend keeping it to five or less in order to avoid cluttering up the page. By the way, now's a good time to mention that you can actually change the layout to a horizontal layout which looks better when you have more tiers. I think three is the best number to start with. At the bottom of the settings, you can see the design options. If you have theme default selected, it'll use the main colors from your store's theme. However, you can also customize even further. You can choose all of the different colors based on your preferences. On the volume discount, you also have a corner radius option, so you can choose fully rounded, squared off, or slightly rounded, which I like the most. Finally, over on the right here, we have a heading and a description text, which we can update or change as needed. And then we can choose to show or hide the original price and the amount saved. 
Once you're happy with the settings on your discount, you can click on save. And if this is your first discount that you're saving, you'll be prompted to activate it in your site's theme editor. So you can follow the prompt to open the theme editor and you'll see that the app has been enabled already and we can click on save. And you can see a preview of how the app will look on your product page. Now we can select that we have activated it on our theme and close this dialog box. Then head back to the app homepage. Great, so now let's create a new bulk discount and go through the different settings for that. So rather than bundle, let's call this one bulk. Once again, you can choose the products that this applies to as well as the active dates. And then scroll down to the table where you can update the quantity discounts. Let's say you want the discounts to be enabled at quantities of two or higher. You can use the arrows to update the minimum quantity. And then the maximum here would be 10. The next tier starts at 11 and let's make it go to 20. And the third tier will go from 21 to 30. Then we can offer discount percentages, for example, 5%, 10% and 15%. And once again, you can also enable a fixed quantity discount. So this would offer a five pound discount for quantities of two to 10. Similarly, you can add tiers using this button here and delete them using the delete button. Then one of the big differences between this discount type and the volume bundle is how the discount is calculated. In the bulk pricing discount option, you can choose to enable the discount for only the individual products or you can choose to apply the discount for the entire cart, assuming that the products are included in this list up here. So if I choose entire cart and somebody adds five of any item out of all of my products into the store, they'll be able to get a 5% discount. However, if I choose this option, they'll have to add five of the same item into their cart before getting a 5% discount on that item specifically. Then as before, we have some design options, which are quite similar to the ones before. And over on the preview screen, we can update the heading and description before saving this discount. Now that we've saved two different discount types, let's go back to our app home screen. On here, you'll see an analytics section up at the top, although it may at first be hidden until customers have placed an order containing a discounted product. Now this allows you to see the number of orders as well as how much revenue is being generated via the app. In this table listing all of your discounts, you can see some of the important information. The arrow on the left allows you to resort your discounts in a new priority order. Priority is important because if there are overlapping products within the different discounts, then the highest priority will be used for the discount instead of applying two different discounts to the same product at the same time. You can also quickly enable or disable discounts using the toggle here. Click on edit to go into the edit screen again. Use the duplicate button to create a duplication of this discount and use the delete button to remove it. You can also click the link at the bottom of the page to access the documentation and you can also find it over here on the left hand menu. There you'll find more details and answers to frequently asked questions. If you need any help, you can also reach out to our fantastic support team via the support page here. Now, if you found this helpful, then you'll also enjoy this video here where I show you how to set up an entirely new Shopify store from scratch. And if you're ready to try the discount app, you can test it out for free by checking out this link here or use the description below the video. And of course, thanks for watching.